Margaret Thatcher, born Margaret Hilda Roberts on October 13, 1925, was a British politician who served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1979 to 1990. She was a prominent figure in British politics and the leader of the Conservative Party, making her the first female Prime Minister in British history. Thatcher grew up in Grantham, Lincolnshire, and studied chemistry at Somerville College, Oxford. She later qualified as a barrister and worked as a research chemist before entering politics. Thatcher first won a seat in the House of Commons in 1959 and quickly rose through the ranks of the Conservative Party. Thatcher became the leader of the Conservative Party in 1975 and won the general election in 1979, becoming Prime Minister. Her political ideology was characterized by a commitment to free market economics, privatization, deregulation, and a reduction in government intervention. This approach, known as Thatcherism, aimed to revive the British economy and promote individual freedom and enterprise. Thatcher's policies were not without controversy, and her government faced significant opposition from trade unions, left-wing activists, and those affected by the economic changes. Her confrontational style and strong leadership earned her the nickname Iron Lady. Thatcher's foreign policy was characterized by a strong anti-communist stance and close relations with the United States, particularly during the administration of President Ronald Reagan. Thatcher was re-elected as Prime Minister in 1983 and 1987, making her the longest-serving British Prime Minister of the 20th century. However, her popularity declined in the late 1980s, partly due to controversial policies such as the poll tax. Internal divisions within her party ultimately led to her resignation as Prime Minister in 1990. After leaving office, Thatcher remained active in public life, delivering speeches, writing books, and establishing the Margaret Thatcher Foundation. She received numerous honors and awards, including the Order of the Garter, and was appointed to the House of Lords as Baroness Thatcher of Kesteven. She passed away on April 8, 2013, but her legacy as a transformative figure in British politics and her impact on conservative ideology continue to be widely discussed and debated. In some ways, despite the criticisms she received from those who don't like her, many are also impressed by her figurative outlook on life, especially those who love and support her. And here are some of Thatcher's famous inspirational remarks. Disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem, and personal satisfaction. Socialists cry power to the people, and raise the clenched fist as they say it. We all know what they really mean power over people, power to the state. I always cheer up immensely if an attack is particularly wounding because I think, well, if they attack one personally, it means they have not a single political argument left. Do you know that one of the great problems of our age is that we are governed by people who care more about feelings than they do about thoughts and ideas? Don't follow the crowd, let the crowd follow you. You do not achieve anything without trouble, ever. There are too many people who imagine that there is something sophisticated about always believing the best of those who hate your country, and the worst of those who defend it. The government has no money of its own. It's all your money. The feminists hate me, don't they? And I don't blame them. For I hate feminism. It is poison. The first step in calculating which way to go is to find out where you are. There are many difficult things about freedom. It does not give you safety. It creates moral dilemmas for you. It requires self-discipline. It imposes great responsibilities. 
but such is the nature of man, and in such consists his glory and salvation. I do not know anyone who has got to the top without hard work. That is the recipe. It will not always get you to the top, but should get you pretty near. We want a society in which we are free to make choices, to make mistakes, to be generous and compassionate. That is what we mean by a moral society, not a society in which the state is responsible for everything and no one is responsible for the state. Socialists have always spent much of their time seeking new titles for their beliefs because the old versions so quickly become outdated and discredited. You don't win by just being against things, you only win by being for things and making your message perfectly clear. The desire to win is born in most of us. The will to win is a matter of training. The manner of winning is a matter of honor. Each generation has to stand up for democracy. It can't take anything for granted and may have to fight fundamental battles anew. Europe will never be like America. Europe is a product of history. America is a product of philosophy. I wouldn't be worth my salt if I weren't attracting some controversy and criticism. Everyone in the world who has done something in life has attracted criticism. Look at a day when you are supremely satisfied at the end. It's not a day when you lounge around doing nothing. It's a day you've had everything to do and you've done it. What is success? I think it is a mixture of having a flair for the thing that you are doing, knowing that it is not enough, that you have got to have hard work and a certain sense of purpose. While some hailed Thatcher as a trailblazer, others criticized her policies and confrontational approach. Yet, no one could deny the impact she had on the nation and the world. Margaret Thatcher left an indelible mark on British politics, inspiring future generations of leaders and sparking debates that continue to resonate to this day. Thatcher will always be remembered as a tenacious woman who defied expectations and shattered glass ceilings. Her legacy, whether revered or contested, reminds us of the power of conviction and the enduring influence one person can have on the course of history. Thanks for watching. Please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And do hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of another new video coming up. Until next time from Quips and Quotes.